the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany, Year B, from the book of Deuteronomy. Anyone who does not heed the words that the prophet shall speak in my name, I myself will hold accountable. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week speak to us about how to recognize and respond to the manifestation of God's glory in the words of prophecy. Because there are, after all, false prophets, we must practice discernment. The Deuteronomist repeatedly tells us that the prophets will be like Moses. And the Psalmist tells us that the works of God's hands are faithfulness and justice. What this tells us is that the prophetic word speaks of the eternal commandments of faithfulness and justice. We therefore test prophecy for its consistency with Scripture. True prophecy may interpret Scripture in a way that differs from the norm, but it does not contradict faithfulness and justice. Likewise, the true prophet is like Jesus in speaking God's word against the condemning voice of the accuser. Paul helps us out with this by explaining that knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. The prophet, like Moses, like Jesus, does not direct our attention to our sin in order to condemn us, but in order to lead us away from that sin. As soon as prophecy seeks to destroy the weak conscience rather than to strengthen it, or to elevate one group above another, we should proceed with extreme caution. And these criteria hold true whether we are called to listen or to speak. When we feel ourselves moved, therefore, often against our normal disinclination to speak a word of truth, let us ask ourselves, is this a word of faithfulness and justice? Or is it instead a word prompted only by my own anger or interest? (laughs) Note that the two are not mutually exclusive. Let us ask ourselves, And ask God in prayer, is the point of this word to build up or to puff up, to cleanse or to destroy the conscience of those who hear? Then we may rebuke with authority the unclean voices that demand, what have you to do with us? Let us therefore respond with faith, whether we are called to hear or to speak, so that the word of God may be made manifest at all times, in all places, to all people. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.